Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Pete's Points. If you're a college football fan, I think the big M behind me gives away where I am. Correct, I'm at the University of Missouri at their stadium. Their stadium is known as Memorial Stadium. And let me tell you the story behind it. Back in around 1921, um, the university wanted to do something to remember all the 117 men, men from Missouri who lost their lives in World War I. So they said, let's create a memorial student union and a memorial stadium. And in 1926, this opened. This is one of the most uh, iconic stadiums in the Southeastern Conference, especially with the big M there behind that. But what in the world does this have to do with you as a leader. Well, my question today is what are you doing in your organization to recognize the men and women who have been active in the military? Uh, as I was walking across campus, and I'll show some pictures here, there's a, uh, the Memorial Student Union was created and etched in the walls are the names of the over a hundred uh, persons who lost their lives in World War I. There's a, a tradition called tipping of the cap, that when you actually walk through uh, the um, the archway there. If you're wearing a cap, you're supposed to tip it to say thank you to the to the men and women who have lost their lives and the men who lost their lives back in World War One. So what are you doing in your company? Let me give you a few examples. Uh, my dad was a veteran, um, so this is passionate to me. He was in Korea, uh, but here uh, where I work at the personnel board of Jefferson County, one of my coworkers, Michael Glaze, uh, is in the National Guard. He came back with a flag that was flying over his uh, time in Afghanistan, and we hang that up in the lobby to recognize him. Uh, for our civil service test, we put out uh, points. If you're a veteran and you're taking one of our tests, you'll be given uh, some points to add to your final score because you are a veteran. It's just time for you as, as a business leader, as a supervisor, to take a step back and say, what are we doing every year to recognize our veterans? I know the Walt Disney Company has a great program where they recognize their veterans every year. And we don't want to forget about them. There's great things happening in our military that our men and women are doing. So what can we do, whether it's on a university campus or in a corporate environment, to make sure we recognize our great men and women who have served in the military? Think about that this week. And if nothing is in place, be a trendsetter and go out there to your organization and say, what can we do to honor and memorialize our veterans, just like here at Memorial Stadium in Columbia, Missouri. We'll see you next time on Pete's Points.